Interesting story, that one. Now, at the end of this season, the Irish Premier League will be cut down to 12 teams, and that means a nervy few months for some of the smaller clubs trying to secure their place in the league. Institute FC are one such side, but they're hoping their manager's expertise in a different sporting environment can spur them on. In their long and successful motorbiking partnership, Liam Beckett and Robert Dunlop have always taken the rough rides with the smooth. And as the manager of Irish League Club Institute, Beckett sometimes wishes today's footballers had a motorbike rider's resolve. The riders can, can get badly injured and, and really want to jump on a bike the very next day, whereas footballers go down now for no reason and roll about as if they've been uh, shot. I'm going to take Robert up some night and if he's in a good mood, he might take his clothes off and let them see the war ones. And then they might realise what a, a skint knee is in relation to the injuries that he would have sustained. Before Robert and brother Joey became household names in motorsport, their racing was done without a budget. Beckett had to learn how to cope, and now with Institute, he's helping a small club on the outskirts of Derry compete with the big Belfast sides. In the last year, they've cleared their debts and won promotion to the Premier League. You know when you achieve things, again referring back to Robert, he achieved an awful lot of his success, but he wasn't, uh, he wasn't coming down with the best equipment at times. And it's very similar at Institute Football Club, I find that you're trying to achieve and, and get to the very top of what you can achieve with what you've got. Beckett's ambition this year is for Institute to finish in the top 12 and push for a place in the IFA's new Elite League, which starts next season. A league without him would be much the poorer, for the Protestant manager with the Irish Christian name is one of the local game's great characters. I remember one night I was managing Clippenville, we were playing Linfield, and uh, the Clippenville fans started and they were calling uh, me the baldy, baldy orange bee and, and then uh, suddenly I had a, a disagreement with David Jeffrey in the touchline and the Linfield fans erupted and then I was a, a baldy Fenian uh, bee. So, uh, <laughs> you know, all in the one night, all in the one game, uh, doesn't that typify the sort of country we live in? But sure, uh, have a laugh and, and move on. That's the way to treat it. Oh, jeez, I'm not going to hit that lean. Why? It's teaming. Oh, I saw worse. Come on, you're sounding like them footballers. Come on. <laughs> to another race, the race for the Heineken Cup. The quarter-final lineup looks.